Hey guys, this is Mark of Automart.ph and I'm here to talk to you guys about how to buy repossessed cars in the Philippines and more importantly, how to use Automart.ph's platform, how to bid for uh, auction cars from the banks. And yeah, I'll start my slide now. Okay, so Automart.ph is um, our website uh, which mostly sells repossessed cars from banks. But we also have um, new partners now adding in uh, who are car lot car lots secondhand resellers um, and yeah just check out our website and I'll, I'll talk to you guys now about repossessed cars and how to use our platform and the benefits and the features of automart.ph okay, so how to buy repossessed cars in the Philippines um, number one um, if you're looking for for repossessed cars you can go to our website and go to our contact us page and um, as you can see, if you're from the north or from the south uh, of Metro Manila, we have a, a designated contact person for that. And if you are in Cebu, if you are in Davao, we also have um, repossessed cars for you to have a look at and order from us. The best way to get in touch with us is to go to our website and click the chat button. Give us your uh, phone number, your email address, and we'll call you. We'll get in touch with you. Um, um, hook you up fast, faster with um, ask you what, what you need and then we'll give you options the best deals for um, repossessed cars for you okay so um, let's talk about repossessed cars mostly repossessed cars um, nanggagaling siya sa mga banko and financing companies um, not necessarily um, financing companies um, not necessarily banks lang ang mga nag offer ng repossessed cars. May mga financing companies na nag offer kasi specifically car loans lang or uh, motorcycle loans or both. But the financing companies, of course, nagahatak rin sila. Marami rin um, hindi nakakabayad and pinupull out nila yung units nila. So, but the best, uh, the best place to buy um, yung mga refi refinance cars are from banks. Kasi malaki yung maraming kumukuha sa kanila. So maraming options talaga. Okay, to tell you more about um, repossessed cars, most repossessed cars are purchased by second-hand vehicle resellers. Yung mga nagbabuy and sell ng kotse, uh, mostly some of them kumukuha sa mga repossessed um, cars ng mga banko. Kasi maganda talaga yung quality ng mga nakukuha ng banks, mga slightly used. And then, second, um, is yung mga mekaniko na murang mag, marunong mag-refurbish story. Um, so, yung mga mekaniko or yung mga second-hand reseller, minsan nagpa-tie up sila or isa lang sila, um, bibili sila sa banko ng unit and then aayusin nila and then <clears throat> aayusin nila and then ibebenta ng may tubo uh, from the banko. Kasi yung benta ng banko, yun talaga yung baseline price na uh, kinukuha na ng mga um, nagbabuy and sell. And number three, yung mga kumpanyang na nangailangan ng motor fleets. Um, kasi yung mga, um, kung sa kampanya, mga companies kasi, if they check kung ano yung brand new, saka repossessed cars, saka second hand cars, na bibili sila ng let's say 5 to 20 units, mas mura talaga kumuha pag sa repossessed, pag sa bangko ka kumuha ng um, fleet cars. Kaya maraming uh, kumpanya, yung decision nila is to purchase the chosen um, vehicles in the repossessed cars. And then number four, government institutions following procurement laws. Sa gobyerno kasi natin, merong process na sinusunod na magsusource ka muna kung ano yung pinakamurang um, option in the market. And ang kadalasan, uh, repossessed cars yung napipili ng mga government institutions. Kasi yun talaga yung pinakamura. Yun yung baseline pricing. Uh, in the industry. Yung mga second hand uh, maybe um, uh, kinukuha rin nila sa repossess or yung ginagaya lang nila yung pricing ng repossess with a profit. Okay. And then number number five, law enforcement sectors. Ang law enforcement sectors kasi meron silang benefits to have uh, their own uh, private transportation. Um, um, beneficyo yun. And also na Kung sa trabaho nila, kailangan nila ng official car para sa trabaho nila. Then, ang process kasi nun, bidding pa rin. 
leading means uh, maghanap sila ng uh, maraming sources or ng maraming sources for a specific unit and of course ang na award uh, majority of na award na mga for law enforcement ay mga repossessed repossessed cars and then how to buy repossessed vehicles number one from banks Ah, uh, pinaka okay talaga bumili sa bangko kasi ang problema sa bangko pag tumawag ka today, mga 2 weeks mo pa makikita yung unit. Um sasabihin sa iyo, majority sasabihin sa iyo na okay, mag-send ka muna ng letter of intent to buy. Um pumunta ka sa office, mag-register ka, uh, check na yung credit nyo sa ibang bangko ganun. Kailan titingnan pa kung may pera ka. And then pag 2 weeks saka lang saka mo lang makita yung uh, kotse. Um, kadalasan, by 2 weeks, wala na yun. Nabenta na yun sa mga bangko. Kaya yun yung medyo mahirap sa mga sa buying repossess cars. Number 2, you can buy it from buy and sell agents. May mga um, nagbabuy and sell na tinitingnan nila ano yung list, sa listahan ng bangko, ano yung mga binibentang kotse ng mga nakatak, and then hahanap sila ng, sell, ng buyer, um, and then, ayun, buy and sell nila. Or aayusin nila, mag, mamarkup sila ng... Ano, ng tubo. And then, why buy from repossessed cars? Number one, ang real fair market value ng mga kotse, ang gagaling yan sa mga banko talaga. Ang mga banko, meron silang uh, computation and records na on the day uh, of uh, the day of um, purchase, magkano yung nabiling unit? And then, how many years was it used? How many kilometers was it used? Men menos. Um, and then, um, ayun, fair talaga yung presyo na binibigay nila. And yung yung mga nagsesek, buy and sell sa second hand market, majority of them, tumitingin lang sa banko kung ano yung presyo ng specific unit na to. And then tutubuan nila ng konti kasi uh, maybe may inaayos sila or mabibili na agad. Number two, units are as is. Ang banko pag pinull out nila, pag pinull out nila sa'yo, yung kotse ni repossess ng banko, hindi nila gagalawin yun. Uh, wala silang tatanggalin, wala silang da idadagdag. Kung ano yung nakuha sa'yo, ah, yun ay, yun ay ma mabibenta. Um, some, and then some modifications decreases the value. Kung naglagay sila ng railings, ng HID, ng mugs, that actually decreases the value of uh, a unit. Pero actually, that's a plus plus thing for for you for us kasi dinagdagan na nila eh tapos bumaba pa yung value di ba so parang um, that's a parang yun yung maganda na um, na nangyayari na we should watch out for and then some uh, for sure it's not car nap majority of uh, mga bangko kinukuha nila sa showroom yung mga ina-approve yung mga na-approve sa showroom galing mga brand yung kotse and um, um, hindi sila ma madalas um, uh, konti lang yung mga nag sa second hand and then refinance ngayon. Uh, mostly talaga nang nag uh, re refinance is um, mga brand new. Then most uh, units are slightly used. Kasi ang, ang car loan uh, 3 to 5 years to pay lang. So ang mga nahatak is mga nasa 2 to 4 years used pa lang na kotse. Okay, so tips for buying repossessed cars. Number one is you can bring a certified mechanic to check the unit before purchasing it. Pwede ka magdala ng mechanic kung sinabi ng banko na okay, pwede mo na tingnan yung unit, pwede mo nang bilhin. Pwede ka magdala ng mechanic ko. And kung yung banko naman magpo-provide ng mechanic, um, syempre medyo may bias yun kasi gusto na nila madispose yung units nila. Pero um, ang kagandaan, pwede ka pa rin magdala ng sarili mong mechanic. Number two, the best deals are slightly used but aging cars. Aging cars means ito yung mga 2017, 2018 na hatak. Pero ngayon, 2020, hindi pa rin nabibenta. Okay? And then, na hatak siya pero slightly used pa lang siya. So, ito actually yung pinaka sweet spot. Ito yung dapat malaman ng, ito yung dapat hinahanap-hanap lagi ng mga bumibili. Saka yung mga, nag, mga second hand resellers. Um, slightly used but aging cars. Aging cars na slightly used lang. Yun yung sweet spot for buying repossessed cars. Number three, third tip, be knowledgeable about the bidding laws in our country. Um, a lot of people doesn't know that you can buy 
um, repossessed cars via bidding or via auction. And um, hindi yung bibili ka lang and then nanal- sa'yo na yun. Uh, pwede pang mag-bid yung iba para makuha nila yung unit. How to, how to buy auctioned cars? Number one, under the Philippine law, all vehicle repossessed should be subjected to a public bidding at fair market value. So, ang banko kasi, um, gusto na lang nilang mabenta, magkano na, magkano na lang yung unit today, yung remaining. Um, um, hindi, not necessarily remaining, but magkano na lang yung um, unit today. Um, and then, nabayaran na yun uh, before ng... Um, ng bumili, a few months. Um, so, kahit lugi sila, basta mabenta na nila. Binibid siya para yun yung way for the for the bank to earn. So, kung nagbid yun ng 1,000 peso more, pumita lang sila ng 1,000 peso more. di ba? So, yun yung um, dapat man- malaman. Number two, newly repossessed cars takes three months before it can be out for public bidding at fair market value. So, ikaw, kung ikaw yung um, owner ng kotse, hinatak sa'yo, may three months chance ka pa bago mo ma... bago talagang uh, technically repossessed na siya. May three months chance ka pa to recover the car. And also, this means na kung ikaw ay tumitingin ng repossessed cars, kung ikaw tumitingin ka ng repossessed cars, may pumasok na sobrang gandang unit, sobrang slightly used, and then aging na siya. Um, pwede mo siyang makita and then uh, from day one um, tatandaan mo siya na i-reserve ko to magbibid ako magbibid ako magbibid ako magbibid ako pag naging repossessed na talaga siya kasi alam mo na na sa warehouse may ganitong unit may mustang na ganitong unit na magkano na lang so uh, yun yung maganda um, sa repossessed cars and uh, I'll talk more about it later with Automart paano niya makukuha yung ganong kotse and then, number three, public bidding is blind bidding style. Ang blind bidding style is uh, maraming taong nagbibid for a car, magsasubmit ng envelope. And then, pag natapos na yung bidding, kunwari Monday ang start ng bidding, nagsubmit kayo ng envelope. Um, Siyempre, kung, kung 500,000 ang, ang uh, fair market value, ibibid mo 500,000, 1 peso. Yung iba naman, 500,000, 2 pesos. Okay, so pagdating ng Wednesday after 3 days, tapos na yung bidding, tsaka nyo lang malalaman kung sino yung nanalo. Tsaka mo lang malalaman na, oh, talo pala ako sa bidding. So, ganun yung blind bidding style. Um, okay, so how can Automart PH help? Um, number one, public bidding of vehicles from Automart partners institutions can now be done online via Automart.ph. BDO, East West Bank, Security Bank, PS Bank, and more to come. Okay, so... Um, this means na hindi ka na kailangan pumunta sa BDO every week, every month, kung ano bang merong kotse um, sa inventory ng BDO. Hindi mo na kailangan, hindi ka na rin kailangan pumunta para magbid. You can do it in automart.ph. So si automart.ph every week ina-update niya yung uh, website kung ano na yung nabenta, kung ano na ba yung um, bago sa mga bangko sa mga institutions na ka-partner ng Automart. Number two, with Automart PH, you will receive a notification whenever someone bids higher than you. You can change your bid unlimited times. So, dati, ang proseso ng mga banko, blind bidding. Magsasubmit ka ng envelope, lahat kayo, um, lahat kayo, uh, hindi alam. Pero ngayon, with Automart.ph, kung natalo ka na sa bidding, makaka-receive ka ng email notification, which uh, I will show you. Makaka-receive ka ng notification. Para uh, by Monday, natalo ka. May chance ka pa until Wednesday to change your uh, to change your bid, um, to win the unit. Um, and then, number three, Automart uploads inventory of financial institutions weekly, so you don't have to check the bank's inventory, which can take up to two weeks uh, to get a reply or to to get to the car. Um, so, mag- ang maganda sa automart.ph, tatawag ka lang, sabihin mo na lang, um, ito yung uh, pangalan ko, ito yung phone number ko, ito yung gusto kong unit, ano yung pinakamagandang unit na makukuha ko. So, hahanapan ka na ng automart sa video, East West Security Bank, PS Bank, and all the partners kung ano yung pinaka the best sa'yo. Um, updated yon updated and tutulungan ka pa. Number 4, Automart has no markup on the bank's public vehicle pricing. So, ang BDO, 
East West Bank, lahat ng banko meron silang web page na doon nila ina-upload weekly ano yung mga inventory nila sa repossessed cars. And ang um, kung ano yung presyo na in-upload nila, yun din yung presyo na nasa automart.ph. Walang markup ang automart.ph, wala kang babayaran na extra. Yun nga lang, with automart.ph, there is a deposit fee of 5,000 peso. Na ibabalik rin naman sa'yo, refundable siya. Um, kasi um, kung gusto mo mag-bid, um, baka naman joy reserver ka lang, di ba? So, hindi pwede yung mag-joy reserve ka lang nanalo kasi hindi mo pala kukunin. Um, so, uh, we, re uh, we require people to deposit 5,000 pesos in automart.ph and then you can bid up to 5 cars and you can change your bid unlimited times and then your deposit will be returned to you uh, win or lose. Basta naka 5 ka na na cars na na, na bid. Um, ibabalik na sa yung pera mo. Which you can also um, place back. Okay, so I'm showing you automart.ph slash motorcycles because um, this uh, today is the mid of February. By next week or by March, um, we will be launching automart.ph which is the motorcycle version of uh, repossessed um, vehicles in the Philippines platform uh, automart.ph motorcycles. Okay, so let me bring you to the platform. Okay, so this is automart.ph. Um, first thing you need to do is just click on the burger button here, burger menu, and then sign up. Madali lang mag sign up, just click on Facebook to register on an account um, um, or Gmail. But uh, okay, so now I'm signed in. Um, when, you, when you sign in, just click on the burger again, and then uh, makikita nyo dito meron na kasulat deposit to bid. Ibig sabihin, di pa verified yung account nyo. So, what you need to do first is to um, you can look around and then choose a car. Okay, so for example, ating gusto ng car. And then, what I need to do is to make a deposit. So, I click deposit to buy or bid. Actually, kung hindi pa verified yung account mo, ang lalabas lang yan, um, I don't know, may error ata sa browser ko, um, is yung mga BDO, ano yung bank account ng BDO, East West Bank, um, BPI, Gcash, and then what you do is you copy the details and then you make a bank deposit or a fund transfer. So what I'll need, what I'll do next is I'll do a fund transfer, and then um, okay. So you you have to submit your deposit slip to accounting at automart.ph. Give your name, your phone number, your email um, with the deposit slip or the screenshot of your fund transfer to maybe BDO or BPI or Gcash, send it to accounting at automart.ph. And then after one day, after one business day or 24 hours, magiging activated na account nyo. So I'll show you an activated account that I have, um, which is uh, this one. Um, so pag activated na yung account nyo, kung chinect nyo yung account nyo, able to bid na. Okay? So what you need to do is uh, place a bid and then choose cash or installment um, so I'm gonna um, for example I want to buy the unit um, cash so I'll bid if this is um, uh, 1156 I'll add um, 59 uh, 1159 thousand okay so uh, I did a place bid and then just click confirm that uh, you want to add it and then I'll show you pag nadagdag na siya. Dito siya sa control panel. Um, and then, ayun, my auctions. Dagdag na siya dito. Um, so, let me try and add another car for me to bid. For example, um, for example, gusto ko ng ng ito, Starex. Um, let's say gusto ko to place a bid. Um, installment naman, I will bid 1759,000. Place bid, confirm, confirm your bid, confirm. Um, your bid will not be final until partner has ratified them. Okay, so meron pang ano tawag doon? Um, approval, just place in your details. Mark, test, test. Okay. Submit, and then just click done. 
And then, if you see, ayan, sa control panel, nandiyan na siya. You can bid for up to 5 different units. And then, after 5, ibabalik na sa inyo yung um, deposit nyo na 5,000 pesos. Okay, so that's that. That's very easy. It's very easy to um, to register to buy in AutoMarket.ph. If nata, eto, na outbid na ako, may nagbid ng mas mataas, ibig sabihin natalo na ako, makareceive ako ng email niya na ganito. Um, email notification, you've been outbid on automart.ph. Ayan, so ito yung papakita niya sa'yo, papaalala niya sa'yo. Oh, may binid ka, and then you've been outbid. So, pag natalo ka na, may chance ka pa para i-up yung bid mo ng mas mataas sa automart.ph until you win. So, ganun lang kadali, guys. And I hope um, you guys can try out uh, the platform. Just go to automart.ph. And then, I'll show you more slides. Um, kasi, um, actually, um, you'll be amazed that um, there's about 50 to 100 people um, buying repossessed cars now in automart.ph alone. And as you can see, some of them are high profile. May mga uh, police, captain, judge, business owners. Um, and ang kadalasan binibili ng mga bumibili sa automart ay yung mga SUVs pick-up trucks, and yung mga delivery trucks. And then, merong mga fleet cars na binibili yung mga ride-sharing, ride-sharing companies, and mga companies talaga. Like, um, kung gusto nila pare-pareho yung mga kotse nila, makabili, makakakuha talaga sila. No? So yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Um, I hope um, you'll consider buying uh, repossessed cars now, uh, now knowing that um, Magandang 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 quality talaga yung mga nakukuha ng units. Marami nang bumibili, marami nang um nagte-take ng advantage for buying repossessed cars. So just go to our uh, website automart.ph and register for an account. And um for our YouTube channel, we we post this on our YouTube channel, we're giving away one sticker to car sticker to ev anyone who would um, share our YouTube link in Facebook and use a hashtag AutomartPH hashtag AutomartPH so share our um, YouTube video in Facebook how to buy repossessed cars in the Philippines hashtag AutomartPH and then uh, we will send you um, a car sticker or a laptop sticker um, kasi pwede mo siya ilagay sa laptop mo, which I do, I did, uh, and it's very cool, alright? So, thank you guys, have a good day, um, visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll, we'll give you more very, very nice deals, the best deals uh, for for repossessed cars, uh, especially for second-hand resellers. Yeah, thank you very much, bye-bye.